Right, Virginia Democrats are vowing to make it harder for Governor Glenn Youngkin to roll back liberal policies and push a conservative agenda. Democratic lawmakers say they have a blue firewall in the Senate where they hold the majority, and that could hold up a lot of the governor's plans. Dana Smith got answers from 13 News Now political analyst Quentin Kidd about what this means for Virginians. Democrats say they have a blue firewall in the Virginia Senate. Senator Louise Lucas on Twitter says, we are standing strong in the Senate to save Virginia. A lot of the things that, uh, that Glenn Youngkin championed on the campaign trail, and he has tried to sort of enact um, in, in sort of various ways through executive orders, will never become law, or at least not in this legislative session. The Virginia Senate is narrowly divided with the Democrats in the majority. For a Republican governor and a Republican-led House of Delegates, this could be a big problem, according to 13 News Now political analyst Quentin Kidd. And so if one chamber doesn't agree with something, that thing doesn't become law. And so that's what Democrats are referring to when they say the blue wall. But Kidd said a Democratic Senate and Republican House doesn't mean lawmakers will stop everything Governor Youngkin wants to do. Kidd pointed out the majority of legislation that passes the General Assembly is passed with bipartisan support. Just not those, those hot button issues that get the bases of both sides really worked up, whether it's on topic of abortion, criminal justice reform, marijuana legalization. But things like school choice could draw support from both sides. Kidd said the big question for him is will Youngkin learn how to encourage compromise and strike a deal with the Democrats promising to hold their ground. He has no political experience beyond running for governor. Can he learn how to work the legislative process? Dana Smith, 13 News Now. Quentin Kidd said it's not uncommon for one chamber in the General Assembly to resist another. It also happened during former Governor Terry McAuliffe's administration when he tried to expand Medicaid, but the Republican-led House resisted.